tell as old as time. True as it can be. Both a little scared, neither one's prepared. Beauty and the Beast. Let's go. <laughs> Forgive me for my wrongs, I have just begun. Here. DC Sun, what's up, Super Crew? And a new, 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 a woman. A woman is actually in the Red Reddit studios today, ladies and gentlemen. Callie. Hey guys. You have a channel? Oh, yes, I am World of Callie. The World of Callie. What is your channel all about? Yeah. My channel is about uh, <laughs> food, Japan, Comic Cons, and cosplay. I know, I know it gets a little nervous being behind the world's finest, <laughs> the two black men, the, <laughs> the most powerful black men in Japan. <laughs> There, exactly. That and a little update for um, my channel. I'll have an unboxing uh, section on there. I will be uploading some original music and a few other reactions that have yet to be posted because had a long week of video shoots. And my comments. update, my update, you might be wondering why <laughs> she's wearing my shirt. It's not what you think. It, go watch the Flash reaction if you yeah. want that answer, okay? Definitely go check out the Flash reaction. There's a reason for that. I like this shirt. Mm, you can't keep it. It's mine forever. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and move on to the Beauty and the Beast official U.S. trailer. Uh, you have not seen it, though. No, right? I've actually been waiting to watch it because I do like the animated version. Okay. You were waiting yeah, to watch it with me? <laughs> yeah, why not? Just... Yeah, so we can give a reaction to it. E. I. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's been in Japan much longer than I have, so he kind of... You know, then for, yeah. I do enjoy doing reactions with Akasan because, well, he's funny and he keeps me on my toes, so... Why not? <laughs> watch. <laughs> Bro, man! That's a whole nother joke. And you, you have not seen... Oh, you have seen... Of course you've seen it. The trailer. Um, Beauty and the Beast? Yes, but... I will, I will calm down my excitement. No, no, please, please. We need that feminine. No, don't calm the, it down, Brina. We need that wave of estrogen. Like, you're, like, I already mentioned off camera earlier that she's hot. Like, she literally is hot. Like, like yeah, hot looking. But she literally has this hot aura. Like, every time I got close, I'm like, God, I'm sweating like that. That's, that's that female AT feel. I, I'm just a mutant. Don't you know that? Is that what it is? Yes. Okay. Got it. so... You were actually Psylocke and Olivia Munn was the stand-in? There we go. Ah. Who knew? <laughs> Enough nerd talk! Let's get into something serious! Disney's Beauty and the Beast starts now. Let's go. Oh, that's pretty. It is nice. Hey, that's the Disney castle. <laughs> they're all Disney castles. Technically, no, yeah, they're all... technically it's the princess castle. Yeah, yeah, but, but they're all Disney castles. Yeah, I know, but that looks like the Disney castle. The one in Okay. 
Danny yeah. DeVito? <laughs> Next year. 717. So, how's that? How's that? Whoa, wow. What is that? Fear the Walking Dead. It's, oh my god. Okay. That was a bloody Fear song. It. Yeah. So, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, like, um, who's playing the Beast? Dan Stevens. He, um, a lot of the fans of him would probably remember him from um, Downton Abbey or Downton Abbey. What is Downton Abbey? Downton Abbey, yeah. Downtown Abbey. Downton Abbey. Downton. Okay. This shows I have no idea. This, you, you, this shows this movie is totally not for me. It's one of, it's one of those like, all right, baby, you did me good last week. I'm gonna do you. I'm gonna do you right tonight. Let's go see Beauty and the Beast like that. It's 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 almost the same as Maleficent. Okay. For me. Okay. Like I had no problem mm -hmm. sitting through Maleficent twice, three times, different did you, women. Did you feel yeah. like the horns from Elizabeth got borrowed for this? <laughs> no, no. But I will say I saw some kind, a little bit of a recycled feeling of Maleficent. But it's it's fucking Disney, so I'm not gonna get too upset about it like um it, it seemed like i like the trailer yeah no it seemed like it was adapted perfectly for the type of audience it's uh a, a i mean let's not kid ourselves people uh, certain audiences will say the same thing about superhero movies that they all right, have this right, particular same tropes and things yeah exactly so the D, the disney this has a formula but it works very well because it's adapting very well what was the other one cinderella, cinderella. right yeah mm -hmm. Same deal, the way they're filming it, the CG very looks uh, fairly similar. Uh, yeah. Maleficent, if anything, actually was the one that stood out more because mm -hmm. it was like, okay, if you if you have Angelina Jolie in this movie, yes. this shit better be damn good. Right. And like, it better be a damn good story. So, And, and it was different, too, mm -hmm. because it wasn't going to go down the same, we know the story, you know how it ends type of deal. Like, right, um, right. Maleficent was a little different, but you know, it seems like... Seems like it was all right. I'd like I'm not like I'm not gonna be lining up for midnight showing or something like that. But. How, how do you how do you see? Um, oh yes, God. please interview us because like yeah. I don't know how to I don't know where to take this. Um, Emma Watson, what do you think of her portraying Belle? Who? Now that you've actually seen her. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Honestly, I for the, the the entire time the reason I said Belle is because I thought it was the Twilight. <laughs> Like Rose McGowan, like, Ouch. I I swear to God, I thought it was the, like no smile girl. Holy shit, that was <laughs> yeah. Kristen so that was Stewart. Harry Potter chick. Okay. Yes, it's her mind. Yeah, Kristen the No Face Stewart. Stewart. Yeah. I that's that's why I said Bill earlier because I was like making a joke. Holy shit, that was the Harry Potter chick. She's whatever. I mean, it's kind of funny. We just watched Flash, yes. so Malfoy's in that mm -hmm. right now, and we're like, oh okay, whatever. Like it completely. That's how little I really remember Harry Potter movies. So, wow, yeah, yeah. that's 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 all on me. I'm I'm not a big. My deal with magic, I think, is I really can't get into magic unless somebody's unless somebody's life is in danger or somebody's gonna die. Like I think I do like particularly dark magic style mm -hmm. or consequences are mm -hmm. to be had. With Harry Potter, it never really felt like anybody was really mm -hmm. too much in jeopardy and they were like, oh, making all these British jokes. The only, my only Harry Potter movie I actually liked was the one where the Twilight dude died and shit. Like, that was... Oh, the, that's number uh, four. That's four. Goblet of Fire. I thought yep. that was number three. No, oh, okay. number four. That one... That, <laughs> see, I'm I, a Harry Potter I, fan. I, I like it. <laughs> that one was hot fire to me. I was like, fuck yeah, kill some people. Let's go, Voldemort. Kill the staff. <laughs> But uh, from what I heard, that was the one that people complained about being the most darkest. I'm like, fuck, yeah. keep it up. Right. I, I, like I, like the I like the series as a whole, but I prefer from the third movie on because it did progressively get darker and the story felt deeper. Mm -hmm. The yeah. first two were great, but they felt like a family movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I thought it was originally, that's what I thought. I always thought Harry Potter was supposed to be like a family movie, but... Yeah. Getting off track here, uh, yeah. you said guess uh, Luke Evans, Gaston. I think he works very well for that role. I think he does, but I need to see more because Gaston is supposed to be pretty big. Now, don't get me wrong. So Luke is Evans Egan. is yeah. super cut. Yeah, yeah. And he's a good-looking guy, yeah. but does he fit the role of Gaston? I don't know because I really didn't pay that much attention to his character because they didn't really show so much of him. I'm going to have to watch the trailer again anyway. I liked it, but for whatever reason, the horns bug me. Hmm. On the beast? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know why. Maybe they're too long, or I don't know. The beast's face is—he just seems a bit compact. 
Because hmm. when you look at the one for the like the animated yeah. version, he's tall, he's brooding, he's, yeah. he's just wide. Not that he has to be menacing, mm -hmm. but it's like he could go either way. It could yeah. be something uh, with a teddy bear or menacing right, 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 in the right, opposite right. direction. In this one, he doesn't very, look at his dominant. Very, yeah. He was very somber. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, it, again, that, it's, yeah. ju it's just a trailer. Mm -hmm. It's not the movie. Yeah. But he felt somber to me. So, so in a it's, like, it's cool to see Okay, him. got it. In some form or fashion, you feel like the Marvel's Hulk had more of a scary demeanor to him or something like that or yes. like every like every like I, I get what you're saying like with the beast mm -hmm. and um beauty and the beast like the idea was the fact that like he was like a giant lion or something yeah. like that like kind of out of control at a moment's notice yeah. and um and even the sound they used in the animated version was right. very scary yeah. like every time any yeah. was growling and everything this one didn't really have that feeling of like but like, and that's what I, that's what that's my comparison with the Hulk because mm -hmm. the same deal with the Hulk every time he would say something like you could hear him down hallways down and shit right. you'd be like oh shit the Hulk is loose we got to get the hell out of here right. so I could see where that is but even you know. Beast from X Men I think would be. I and I don't yeah. mean because his name is Beast, but I mean just his demeanor no, itself, I, not okay. just Bill, his demeanor is, he could I be get menacing. It. I get it, the, 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 the menace, he, the, anim, the animalistic nature yeah, I didn't see wasn't it. there as much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's why I almost was like, is that Kelsey Grammer? Because <laughs> yeah, no, he, he was really like, proper, and I'm like, oh shit, <laughs> Kelsey Grammer do a returning role or something? Like, I want to be the Beast again. <laughs> yeah. beast. I want to be the Beast again. Yeah. <laughs> So, okay, final thoughts? Anything? You'll definitely I'll be definitely it, right? watch it. Yeah. I'm definitely going to go see it. Because I, like I like the animated version. I like Emma Watson also. And Luke Evans. So I kind of want to see what they do with the story. Is it going to be copy-paste from the animation? Or will they go a different way? Wait, I didn't watch Cinderella. But was Cinderella pretty much faithful to the animated movie? To a point. It was okay. Uh, you're asking. It wasn't horrible, but... Eh. I mean, it didn't have a twist like Maleficent did. Right. Well, Melissa, Maleficent was always going to have that twist right. because it was always focused on her, right. and they even advertised it as, see, now here's what you don't know. Like, like I was like, oh, shit. Like, you know the story. You Is know there a follow-up how... to that? No. That they're, ma they're not making a second to that? Mm, I don't know. I don't think so. I, I don't know. Okay. But th that was the whole thing with Maleficent was it was supposed to be like... Um, Here's what you don't know. Right. Cinderella, I have no idea. That shit just looked creepy. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Like, Cinderella really did look fucking creepy. Like, when they were dancing. And for me, as a huge Game of Thrones fan, Ooh. there was no way I was going to see King Robert in another ballroom. <laughs> right. With you, like... And oh, wait, nobody, to be massacred. Exactly. Yeah, like no wait, nobody's You're getting traumatized. Yeah, no no pregnant women <laughs> are getting stabbed and shit. Kind of like you yeah. have to be. Yeah. That was a hard scene. Yeah, to watch. we we good. Oh with, that's God. like if I ever see like if Glenn shows up in a Disney movie or something that's like true. that, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna cringe every time he's near a bat. So <laughs> Alright guys, Red Red Native stand up, speak up, let us know what you guys think about this again. DC Sun's channel, it's in the link in the descriptions below. Callie's Kelly. channel, it's in the link in the description below. Come check it out. We'll talk to you later. Tell us all the time. Peace. <laughs>